Lysias, Apology for the Olive Stump, Episode 9. A la gar o boule, peri menton proteron, gegen ne menon, pala echone pain hikana no mizo ta eremena. Epe de de ego parelaban to horion, prinhe merdras pente, genestai, apa misthosa, kali strato, epi puthat doru, archontos. Hos duo ete, ega orgesen, ute idion elaan, ute morian, ute sekan paralabon. Lysias now continues and he says, but in fact, alagar, Allah here is an adversative conjunction, but in fact, o boule, o council, and this is feminine, singular, and vocative, he's speaking to the council. Peri men, which will ans- be answered later by this de here, peri men ton proteron, gegene menon, gegene menon is genitive, plural, it's modified by ton. The preposition peri takes the genitive, and it is equivalent roughly to the Latin de, which means concerning or about. So, in fact, men of the council, obule, concerning the things, ton gegene menon, which happened earlier, proteron, this is a comparative adverb here, being used as an adverb of time with the participle gegene menon, concerning the things that happened earlier, echon pola. I have many things to say, ekon pala e pain. The participle ekon here is a circumstantial participle. It is in the predicate, not the attributive position. It has no definite article preceding it, so it is a circumstantial participle. And circumstantial participles can bear a variety of meanings. I believe this one is concessive, although... And also, it's the case that the verb echo, when it is used with an infinitive, here a pain, means to have the ability to do something, to have the doing of something, in other words, to be able. So then we would want to say, although I am able to say, echo ne pain pola, pola in the neuter, plural, and accusative, although I am able to say many things, peri through gegenemenon, about the things that happened earlier, I believe, nomidzo, there's our finite verb and the main verb of this sentence, I believe, or I think, I suppose, Latin puto, or perhaps opinor, or arbitror, I suppose, I judge, that sufficient things, hikana, have been said, ta eremena, or perhaps more precisely we should say, I suppose that the things which have been said, notice that this participle, eremena, is in the attributive position, and thus is most likely the subject, and hikana then is the predicate. So I think that the things which have been said are sufficient. Eremena is a perfect participle from the verb lego. Eremena is the fifth principal part, and this is a perfect passive participle. So, men, concerning the things that happened before, but when I, epede de, on the other hand, but when I received, parelebon, and this is the second aorist, active indicative of the verb, para, lambano, like so, which means to take or to accept. But when I received the parcel, to Horion, the tract of land, before Prin, before five days Hemeras Penta had passed, Genestai, Apemistosa, I rented it out. This is the verb Apomistheo, and it is an aorist. This one is a first aorist. We can tell by the sigma. It's called a first sigmatic or weak aorist, whereas Parelabon is a second asigmatic strong aorist. I rented it out to Calistratus, Calistrato, which is in the masculine, singular, and dative. This took place, epi, during the time that Puthodoros was archon. This preposition, epi, when it patterns with the genitive, and when the genitive is the name of a person like this, Puthodoros, it means during the time of, 
during the rule, the reign, the lifetime, and Putha Doru is a, an Omicron or second declension masculine. Archontos is a third declension masculine, which modifies it or perhaps is an apposition. Puthodoros, the Archon, it was during his reign or his rule. Hos, referring to Callistratus, he then farmed it, Ege Orgesen, this is an aorist, he farmed it for two years, duo ete, this is an accusative of duration of time, he farmed it for two years, taking, para la bone, neither a private olive tree, nor one of the sacred olives, nor the sacred olive stump, sekon, he did not take it during that time period. In other words, Callistratus did nothing to despoil the land. Here is a picture of a beautiful Madeira olive stump.